The holiday season is full of traditions, but now with social media everywhere, it's all around us. Some of those traditions are changing, and Jennifer Radke is the CEO of the National Institute for Social Media, here to explain a little bit more about that. Uh, good to have you here. Thanks for having me. So social media, it's all over the place. It only makes sense, right, that it would be impacting right. the holidays a little bit. Absolutely. It's the way we communicate. You know, yeah. it's just one of the many ways we should be communicating, mm -hmm. but unfortunately a lot of days... Uh, a lot of people today are spending most of their time communicating via social. Yeah, and one thing that I read in getting ready for this, you say that social media, it's a way to communicate, but mm -hmm. it shouldn't be the, the only way to communicate, especially around the holidays, right? It's important right. to keep that in mind. It is. It's important to remember that we should see people, talk to people, go out of our house perhaps and behind, mm -hmm. out from behind our technology and actually have a conversation and engage in a relationship. Yeah, imagine that, huh? I know. Actually talking to somebody <laughs> face to face. It doesn't happen enough these days. Exactly. Um, holiday cards, I know that's one area that this has been a real game changer in how people actually, uh, I guess, whether or not they send out holiday cards. It really has. I mean, we used to send out holiday cards because we didn't have an opportunity to connect with people who were further away, right? Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. didn't uh, want to pay long distance to call them on the phone. Mm -hmm. And a drive wasn't quite as easy as it was. Sure. Uh, and now, you know, people are always communicating on social media. They're posting pictures of what they did last night and what they mm -hmm. had for breakfast this morning, right? Mm -hmm. And so there isn't that connection that feels like, well, I have to reach out. So people aren't sending those cards. Plus, it's not as inexpensive sure. anymore as it used to be. Oh, holiday cards used to be the one time of the year you would you would see what people look like after every year, right? Absolutely. You could check them and see it, but you we're seeing that constantly we on social media. We are seeing that all the time. It's a Facebook thing. has everything up. Uh, promotions. I know that's been a real tool for for businesses and, and and certain organizations around the holidays as well on social media. Oh, absolutely. I think Cyber Mon Monday actually passed Black Friday as far as sales this last year, and part of that is because we are doing our shopping online, right? And social media plays a big part of that. That's where we're consuming our information, right? Mm -hmm. So businesses need to think a little bit about how does our audience want to hear from us? Mm -hmm. And then let's provide information to them in that way. And so how do we yeah. communicate? How do we engage sure. with our customers, with our community via the platform that they're most comfortable with? And yeah, I, I did a story actually with a, a therapist who had said that you really want to be mindful for your mental kind of state around the holidays to not be constantly checking social media, kind of be mindful on how you consume it. Would yes. you agree with that or oh, what advice would you have? I would absolutely agree with that. I think your uh, psychologist would probably state that depression is at an all time high in the holiday season. And when and we amplify that with what we're seeing in social and not getting out and engaging in real life uh, experiences mm -hmm. that just only kind of compounds itself. The other piece is to remember that there are human beings behind the social media. So mm -hmm. there are people who work in social media all the time and the busy stress of the season requires them a moment to sit down and take a deep breath, take a deep breath, yeah, right? We get short with each other, and yeah. so we have to remember that that's not how we would do it if we were face-to-face, -face, so maybe we shouldn't do it online either. There you go. Thank you so much for the time. Yeah, thanks for having me. I appreciate it very much.